Lambo fisherman Kenwin Ramkinsoon feels helpless as he watched his vessel being pulled from volumes of oil in Lambo. For two weeks, his vessel has been stuck in oil spilled from the overturned barge. All morning I sweating, yeah, my hand shaking, my whole nervous system just break down. Yeah, and seeing that they're really trying to help me. Yeah, I really can't watch the boat. I really can't watch it. Before the yeah. interview could end, Ram Kasoon walked away in tears as officials lifted the vessel away. However, the mood is quite different in another part of Lambo. Despite living in the heart of the disaster, residents remain unfazed. Yeah, no feel, no feel no way. Cause I do less inhaling. Yeah, no, I'm thinking that because and some people were telling me, oh, we should move for me, and but we're moving in for many kind of thing. But if it was affecting, then I'd have moved out. But a few meters away, one business owner in the tiny fishing village tells CNC3 News he's deeply concerned about the spill's impact on their pockets the ability to earn a living temporarily on hold. I like to go ahead and do business because this is my hobby. This is what I live in by. This is bread and butter, as the people would say. On Thursday, the Lambo Primary School remained closed. Fishing vessels remained grounded. The main road restricted as tanks vacuum fuel into a containment storage. However, other businesses continue to operate. From what I have seen, you know, when you pass on the um, sea coast and you look, it is really terrible. You look at the spill on the road, you look at all the, um, the blackness on the, the street and so It's really a disaster. But for here, even the neighbors and so I haven't heard anybody complain. The Tobago Emergency Management Agency hopes to have this village cleaned up by weekend. Elizabeth Gonzalez, CNC3 News.